While the development of the sixth generation stealth fighter is still ongoing, the US Air Force is already looking ahead and seeking to develop a seventh generation stealth fighter jet. The Pentagon appears to be actively exploring concepts for a seventh generation stealth fighter, which could push aviation technology even further. Some of the key factors they appear to be considering are hypersonic speeds. Developing airframes and propulsion systems capable of Mach 5 plus flight would represent a major advancement. This could allow rapid response and engagement anywhere on the globe. Unmanned teaming, future fighters may control smaller drone wingmen for reconnaissance, electronic warfare, payload delivery, and more. This improves situational awareness and survivability. Space operations, designing jets with the ability to travel into low earth orbit could open up new missions like satellite maintenance. It may also require thermal protection for re-entry. Advanced sensors and AI, Utilizing cutting-edge radar, electro-optical, and other sensors assisted by artificial intelligence may allow a pilot to effectively command from much longer ranges. Directed energy weapons, high-power lasers, or other beam weapons could give fighters a powerful offensive option without relying on expensive munitions. So, the Pentagon appears to be exploring an option that pushes what's possible for manned air combat even further through breakthrough technologies like hypersonics, unmanned teaming, and the ability to operate in space as well as Earth's atmosphere. Of course, developing these capabilities poses immense technical challenges. One of the most transformative capabilities being explored for a seventh generation fighter is hypersonic flight, or the ability to fly at speeds above Mach 5. Currently, the fastest operational aircraft tops out at around Mach 2.2. However, advances in materials science and propulsion technology are bringing hypersonic flight closer to reality. A hypersonic fighter would have an airframe constructed of advanced heat-resistant materials like carbon nanotubes, ceramic matrix composites, or refractory metal alloys. These would withstand the searing temperatures of Mach 5 plus flight through the atmosphere. The jet's contours may feature stealthy designs optimized for hypersonic aerodynamics as well as infrared and radar signatures. For propulsion, researchers are investigating scramjet or combined cycle engines capable of sustaining combustion at hypersonic velocities. Scramjets work by compressing and burning fuel in supersonic airflow without using moving parts. Combined cycle designs may integrate rocket and jet propulsion. Hypersonic jets could also be powered by innovative solid fuel or hybrid rocket engines. Being able to fly at speeds five times faster than sound would give a seventh generation fighter capabilities far beyond any current design. It would allow rapid deployment and response anywhere in the world within hours. Hypersonic missiles and drones could also be directed from these jets to strike targets thousands of miles away in less than an hour. The ability to maneuver at Mach 5 or higher would also enhance survivability. Hypersonic flight could help jets penetrate heavily defended airspace and avoid interception due to the difficulty of tracking objects traveling faster than a mile per second. It may even facilitate evading surface-to-air missiles. While immense technical hurdles remain, achieving reliable and reusable hypersonic flight would revolutionize global power projection and air combat. It could give the U.S. and its allies dominant strategic advantages for decades to come. One concept being explored to enhance the capabilities of future manned fighters is unmanned teaming, where a seventh-generation jet controls and coordinates with smaller unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones. These drone wingmen could perform missions too dangerous, long endurance, or specialized for manned aircraft. A seventh-generation jet may fly with and direct a team of mini-drones for reconnaissance and surveillance missions far ahead of or behind enemy lines. Equipped with electro-optical, infrared, and radar sensors, these drones could scout territory, detect threats, and relay targeting data without risking a pilot's life. Some drones may even be expendable and act as decoys. Other drones could perform electronic warfare, like jamming enemy radar or communications. By operating autonomously but under the command of the manned jet, Drone wingmen could confuse and overwhelm adversaries. Mini drones may also conduct suppression and destruction missions against enemy air defenses to clear a path for manned aircraft. Payload delivery is another role for unmanned wingmen. Drones could carry and deploy weapons like small air-to-air -air missiles, mini bombs, or air-launched mini cruise missiles at targets identified by the manned jet or drones themselves. This spares the larger manned aircraft from carrying unnecessary ordnance and risk. By extending the manned fighter's sensors and weapons range, drone wingmen could vastly improve situational awareness and survivability. Their coordinated flights would also complicate enemy targeting, providing redundant layers of detection and defense. The option of sacrificing drones to defeat threats could allow manned jets to escape danger. Unmanned teaming has the potential to revolutionize future air combat.
One futuristic capability being explored is the ability for 7th generation fighters to perform missions in low Earth orbit. By designing jets and systems tolerant of the space environment, this could open up entirely new realms of operations. A space-capable fighter would require major modifications to traditional designs. Its airframe would need robust thermal protection to withstand the searing heat of atmospheric re-entry at orbital velocities. Advanced heat shielding materials like niobium alloys and carbon-carbon composites could fulfill this role. The jet would also need enhanced life support and environmental control systems to keep pilots safe during space flights. Its avionics, sensors, and communication systems would require hardening against radiation and charged particles not encountered in atmospheric flight. Additional onboard fuel and advanced propulsion, like miniaturized nuclear or solar electric options, could enable maneuvers in space. With these adaptations, a seventh-generation space fighter could perform on-orbit missions, like inspecting, repairing, or refueling strategic satellites. It may deploy mini-satellites or conduct maintenance on space-based sensors, weapons, or solar power stations. Space fighters could even intercept enemy satellites or serve as a rapid response space superiority platform. Re-entering from orbit and gliding to land would allow the retrieval of expensive space assets or pilots for reuse. On-orbit endurance with a space-based mothership could enable persistent space surveillance as well. If made reusable, space fighters may become a more affordable way to maintain American dominance beyond Earth. While immensely challenging technically, regularizing space operations could be a giant leap for air power. For a seventh-generation fighter to be effective in future battle spaces, it will require revolutionary advances in sensors and sensor processing, cutting-edge active and passive radar, electro-optical cameras, infrared search and track systems, and other classified sensors could provide unprecedented real-time situational awareness to the pilot. However, processing the massive floods of data from such advanced sensors will likely require assistance from artificial intelligence. Onboard computers and neural networks could rapidly analyze sensor feeds for anomalies, identify targets, and monitor threats across huge areas. This would allow pilots to maintain situational awareness even when commanding from distances beyond visual range. AI could also help pilots sort through reams of communications intercepts, social media posts, and open source intelligence. It may identify patterns and detect threats that humans could miss. AI assistance could then highlight only the most relevant information to aid rapid decision making. By fusing data from all available sensors like radar, electro-optical, full-spectrum analysis, and electronic warfare payloads, AI could construct a comprehensive, real-time composite picture of the entire battle space. It may even predict enemy movements and capabilities with a high degree of accuracy. Pilots could then focus on high-level strategy while relying on AI to continuously and autonomously monitor the situation. With sensors and processing power exponentially stronger than any human's capacity, a seventh-generation fighter assisted by AI may allow pilots to remain effectively present across vast frontiers, even when physically distant. This could revolutionize operational concepts. One concept that could radically change air combat is the use of directed energy weapons, DUES, like high-power lasers aboard future fighters. Lasers and other beam weapons may provide tactical options far beyond conventional missiles and guns. Advances in solid-state laser technologies have the potential to make directed energy weapons viable for aircraft use. Powerful fiber or diode lasers could be compact enough to integrate into a seventh-generation jet. With capacities measured in multiple kilowatts, they may be capable of engaging targets at distances greater than traditional weapons allow. Dues would offer significant advantages over conventional munitions. Being electronic, lasers would not require expensive physical projectiles or reloading. This could drastically reduce logistical burdens. Their beams also travel at the speed of light, giving lasers a faster engagement capability than missiles. On a fighter, lasers may function as both offensive and defensive tools. They could destroy incoming missiles, drones, or even enemy aircraft with precision beams. Simultaneously, the fighter's lasers could neutralize surface-to-air missile sites and other ground targets previously out of range. This expands the jet's radius of operations and survivability. The ability to conduct rapid successive strikes without rearming could allow a single fighter armed with DUs to take on multiple threats at once. Their non-kinetic nature may also facilitate developing selective, non-lethal applications to avoid unnecessary loss of life when possible. Perfecting aircraft DUs could revolutionize air combat and defense strategies for decades to come. A next-generation stealth fighter envisioned for the 2030 and beyond could upend existing paradigms of air combat through revolutionary technologies. Hypersonic speeds above Mach 5 would allow rapid response worldwide and evasion of threats. Advanced, unmanned teaming with swarms of mini-drones would massively extend the pilot's senses and weapons range through autonomous wingmen. 
Spacefaring abilities may open new frontiers with on-orbit missions to service satellites and assert dominance beyond Earth. But to manage the informational deluge from cutting-edge sensors and drone fleets, artificial intelligence assistance will be vital for pilots to maintain situational awareness across vast areas. Direct energy weapons like high-power lasers with seemingly unlimited magazines could strike targets farther than ever while reducing logistical burdens. With hypersonics, drones, space capacity, enhanced senses through AI, and beam weapons, a seventh-generation fighter concept may achieve unprecedented global reach, endurance, and lethality. If you found this video informative and engaging, we would greatly appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up. Simply click the like button below. To stay up to date with our latest content and never miss out on future updates, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Your continued support holds immense value for us, and we sincerely thank you for being a part of our community.